Hey guys, what's up? It is my face story here and today I am here to show you a little bit of a skin update, a little bit of yada yada yada. So first things first, I guess, if you can tell, I am purging, breaking out a little bit. Um, I decided finally to go vegan. And so I think my skin is just freaking out a little bit. I mean, I've ate meat, probably not every single day, but for 22 years I've ate meat. Um, so in my mind, I think that I am detoxing a little bit off the meat and that it is pushing out the hormones and pushing out all that bad nasty gunk. Um, I didn't really do it for my skin, but I have heard that is one of like the best benefits of going vegan. I did it just, oh, a bunch of different things for the planet, for the people, for myself. Um, I don't know, I guess I've watched a lot of documentaries and I've seen how health and diet are so closely related and in my family, definitely cancer runs, especially breast cancer. Um, heart attack, stroke, things like that. So if I don't have to get that and it could be based off the way I eat, I would gladly just eat vegan for the rest of my life. I also feel way better, I have tons of energy. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, um, but I guess that's already because I didn't eat dairy. I haven't been eating dairy for about six months, so like half a year, and it felt great. But yeah, so far so good. The only thing was the breakouts, and actually a couple days ago they were way worse. So this cheek is pretty clear. It's just this, this, and then this spot, and that is it. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I think it will probably go away in a couple of days, and if not, then, <laughs> then we'll talk about it. So anyways, what I've been showing you guys today is, so I've been doing this for 10 months now, and so I'm currently soaking the banisher and the pin stamp and rubbing alcohol um, just to sanitize it. I use this, 91%. You can use anything that's 75% or above just to uh, make sure that it's nice and disinfected. And today I'm only going to do a little bit of rolling on my cheeks because I am purging so much. I really don't want to risk the spreading of the bacteria or anything like that so I'm just gonna mark and you can see how red and angry that one is like that one actually hurts and since it is on my jawline lower half of my face like I definitely think that's hormones I think I felt one right here um so yeah not only am I eating vegan I'm also trying to eat a more alkaline rich diet um so foods that give your body an alkaline pH level when you eat them instead of acidic foods. So just more greens, um, less processed food. Obviously I'm not gonna be eating any meat, no dairy. But there's other things too that are acidic that I had no clue like oats and blueberries. You can look up this whole chart online. Um, alkaline diet, that's what I'm trying. Seems to be working good so far. So yeah, now that those are marked, I kind of have one right here, but I'm not gonna like really get that close to my lip. Now that those are marked, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This is very nice, very nice. Okay, so I'm just like shaking off the stuff a little bit. If I wasn't recording it, I'd probably go rinse it off with water. You can do it either way, it's not gonna hurt or help you. Um, a lot of people also like to use the pore smasher to numb their face before they go in with the roller. For me, it doesn't really matter. I've been doing it for so long. It doesn't really feel like anything. It doesn't hurt, so it's fine. It's good. Um, I'm gonna do five strokes in like each direction. So start right here. I'm only gonna do my cheeks today. And I wasn't even counting. I should have counted. So I think that's about five. I wasn't counting again. But you know what? One, two, three, four, five. 
and your face is gonna get red as you do this um, is tiny needles that are tricking your skin into reproducing collagen so obviously you know if you're creating micro tears in your skin it's gonna get red and a little bit inflamed but that's good that means that it's working You can hear my dog or not walking around. Hey, bear. So yeah, my face, I feel like I say this every time. My skin has gotten a lot better um, with using the Banish products. Especially, I mean, I feel like the Banisher makes the most difference. I get asked all the time. You know, if I had to choose one product to buy, like if I could only afford one, what would I buy? And it's definitely the Banisher with the Banish Oil. <laughs> That's what I would definitely buy because that is what is going to help your scarring the most. It is going to be like the most abrasive. I think the light just changed a little bit. I mean, this isn't the most flattering lighting, but at least you guys can see as I'm rolling how my scars kind of get highlighted a little bit. And make sure you do five strokes in each direction. I am not really counting, but I kind of know the feeling at this point of how many <laughs> are correct since I've been doing this every two weeks for the past 10 months. Wow, that calmed down like pretty fast actually. And since I have one big old guy in the middle of my forehead, I'm not gonna do anything there. Um, and then my chin I usually don't do because I don't have really any deep scarring there. Um, but to seal the deal, you want to use the banish oil. And then this is going to help to further, there we go, <laughs> further um, get that cell production. And there's not really any benefit to putting it on your face or putting it in your hands and rubbing it in. Whichever floats your boat, I just feel like this is less messy for me. And then I'm actually going to use the pen stamp on this side, just on these kind of deeper ones right here. And then you just stamp it down. And that's going to help to really target that area. It was like making a weird squeaky noise. That's going to help to target that area and really get that collagen pumping. That is pretty much it. But I have started to mark off areas like this, um, and that's helped me a lot in making sure that it stays clean and doesn't get contaminated, you know, because you don't want to spread that bacteria. So if you did accidentally hit a spot, you would know automatically because it would kind of smear. So yeah, that's about it. That is how I've been using the banisher in the pin stamp. Back to my vegan diet. It has honestly been awesome so far like I do really feel like I have a lot more energy I'm not eating like hardly any carbs or processed foods right now mostly just like whole foods as much as I can it is kind of hard to make that transition since I've been eating a quote-unquote Western diet for so long um, I do still crave like chicken nuggets don't mistake never liked like beef or anything like that but just like fried chicken I kind of miss but that's it never like fish could live without eggs but you know what i found fake chicken the boca burger and so that's gonna be like my guilty pleasure snack for now until i can go like whole foods raw vegan 
but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I know Banish also has some videos on their Instagram as well and their Facebook if you guys want to check those out. Those are really helpful. I have a couple of lives on their Facebook too. And this is it. <laughs> in all of its pride and glory. Um, yeah, I do really feel like my skin... It looks better, it looks glowy. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. <laughs> and if you wanna find out more, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I feel like I always say this. It's my face story or follow me on Snapchat. And if I don't answer your messages on Instagram right away, it's because that is like, there's crazy flow in my inbox, but if you reach out to me on Snapchat, I will get back to you like right away, like within a couple minutes. I'm always on there. So thank you so much and see you soon.